Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome to my videos. So these, these, they are a decluttering series and I'm just filming one intro to all of them because honestly I forgot to film one before and I didn't really want to put my makeup back on today because you know what? It's a chill quarantine day. So, um, yeah, I filmed these last week, but I am getting around to editing them and I really wanted to share them with all of you. So I really needed to go through and declutter a lot of things. Um, I'm kind of revamping my room and my makeup collection and the desk and everything like that. So I thought what better time than to de what better time than the quarantine where you have to stay in your home for however many weeks it is at this point so I thought I would just declutter some of my makeup stuff and I feel like I got rid of a good chunk of makeup I don't have a lot but I do have more than the normal person so yeah I think I did pretty well and I am using this intro for all of the videos um, that I'm doing for my declutter so if you see this intro in more than one video that is why but I hope that you guys really enjoy declutters I know I love watching them all the time and yeah, if you guys have any video suggestions or any ideas on new products that I can try or review for you, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to see vlogs or things like that as well with Molly, let me know. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so now we are doing the blush and bronzer section. Uh, apparently, I have a lot of blush and bronzer. I did not realize this before filming the video. So this is a nice surprise. I'm a hoarder. It's okay. Um, so I'm going to start with the bronzer, I think. I think those are going to be the easiest for me to declutter. So first I have this Marc Jacobs bronzer in H oh, Hi-Fi filter. I love this. This is so good. Um, such a really great bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And then I have this um, L'Oreal Lumi bronze it and I don't know I don't know how I feel about a luminous bronzer but I'm hanging on to it for the summer because I got it over the winter it's not bad I kind of like it and then I have this NARS one in Laguna Tierre bronzer keeping for sure I have this cover FX one and I actually do really like this they have some really good highlighters bronzer blush the highlighters I don't really like I don't I don't think it really does a whole lot but the other ones I do really like I have a Smashbox palette love this so much I love all of it um this is a little bit I don't know and that's a little too dark for me right now, but it's okay because it's really good. But I really like this palette a lot, so I'm going to keep that. I have this Anastasia Contour Kit. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I want to use this more because I haven't used it a whole lot. I have, but I haven't recently. So I'm going to hold on to it, see if I use it. If not, I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, but I do like it from when I use it. Alright, move some of these blushes out the way. And then I have this pretty vulgar bronzer. This is pretty good too. Um, I do like that, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it newer to my collection. Hola bronzer. I got this off of Mercari from somebody because I didn't want to pay full price. Yeah, it's pretty nice. There is a huge dip in there, so glad I have that. Laura Geller. Oh, this is my favorite. One of my all-time favorites. I have a backup of this because I love it that much. So, keeping that. This is really good. Um, this is the um, the Balm Take Home the Bronze. I have a review on my channel of this, but I really love using that. Whether it's a contour or an actual bronzer, love it. Okay, so I just received, or I just received, I just bought this Gradient Glow at Marshalls and haven't used it yet, but it's so freaking beautiful. Do I really want to use it? Oh my gosh. It's more of like a highlight, but oh my gosh. Oh, keeping for sure. I just bought that, so I'm not getting rid of it. Too Faced Snow Bunny. Oh, this one's a hard one because I used to use this all the time. Excuse me, all the time. Honestly, at this point, I think it's just like hard pan. 
Like, I can't even get anything off of it. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. I'm going to have to get rid of it. It doesn't, there's nothing, nothing is showing on here. Except for that bronze color. Like, nothing else. Nothing else is coming off, so. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. And if I want to, I'll repurchase it in the new formulation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. I used to use this one a lot. Mm, I only, I think I only need one luminous one. And this one just seems really dark. I'm going to get rid of this one too. My Butter Bronzer is not going anywhere. Still smells really good. Oh yeah, still keeping that. Amazing. This is a Blushing in Bali by BH Cosmetics. It has bronzers. Oh, it doesn't. It has blushes. Well, it's in here now. <laughs> so they have highlights. I probably won't ever use this one, but it is freaking amazing. All of these are amazing. I was so surprised by BH Cosmetics. I thought they were going to be like just cheap and low end and stuff because they were drugstore, but I am so amazed by their palettes. Like they're freaking beautiful. So, I'm definitely keeping this because I haven't played with it enough. And then I have this bronzer from NARS. I got this at TJ Maxx for $17. I am not even going to lie. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I had gotten this with high hopes that it was going to be amazing. And it's in the shade Casino. And I'm thinking maybe I just got a shade too light. But, like, I don't know. Maybe I just also had to get rid of the stuff on top because that doesn't look too bad. I don't know. It just doesn't go on my skin very well. So I think I'm going to keep this and try it out, but I don't know how I feel. I may be getting rid of that as well. I just hate to get rid of it because it's NARS. This is the Revolution um, Ultra Bronzer. This thing is freaking huge, but it's amazing. It really is, but I do have some that are similar to this. <sighs> do I want to keep it or do I not? I have to decide between this one and the NARS one because I do think that they're both pretty much the same. This is the Coco Contour Kit. Um, I got this recently um, at Marshalls, I think. Oh, there goes the brush. It has a pop of light highlighter, a two bronzers, and... I don't even know what that is. A light powder? I don't know. But I am going to keep this because it's freaking adorable. It's kind of like retro type of because this was, I'm pretty sure a long time ago they came out with these. Um, and then just because I want it because it's cute. Um, and then I do have these two Kat Von D uh, contour kits. This one is with the, well I guess I'll show you this one. This one's the older packaging like that. I'm going to keep this. And then this one is just the cream contour in the newer packaging. So I don't, this is the only cream contour palette I have and I've only used it twice. So that's great, but I do really like it and I'm going to go ahead and keep it. All right. So those are all of my bronzers. Um, I got rid of two. So let's just be proud of that. I got rid of two. All right. So next I have blushes. I do have a few blush palettes here. Um, this one is from Smashbox. Looks like this. I love this. This is the LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette Malibu Berry. Really, really like this. I love berry tones. I'm going to keep that. This is the Clinique um, Cheek Pop on the Glow Trio for the summer, spring or summer last year. I'm going to say I was disappointed in this. I had really high hopes that this was going to be really, really pretty and amazing. And I was kind of disappointed. Um, I'm going to keep it for the sole purpose of the packaging because I really love the packaging. And I also it's also very cheap packaging, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of disappointing too because this is freaking expensive. But I'm going to keep it because I want to play around with it more. Tarte Hamptons Weekend Contour Kit. I love this. This is so amazing. Like, yes, please. Great for travel. Oh, let's see. This is another one from iHeart Revolution or Makeup Revolution. I'm not really sure, but it has a highlight, or highlight and a blush, and they're both really, really good. But I think it's time for it to go because I don't ever use it. Oops. 
I have the Smashbox Cali Kisses palette. Freaking love this. I love this so much. It's a little dark for my skin tone, but I'm going to make it work because I like it. Then I have the Anastasia Blush Kit. I do still use this because um, it is still good. This one I don't use that often. It's not my cup of tea necessarily, but I still do use this and I still do really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. All right. And then we're on to the single blush, which I didn't realize that I had such a problem, but apparently I do. So I have a Lorac blush. This is in Spectra. Love this. Use it almost every day. This is a Milani blush in Coral Beams. I actually really do like this. This is really amazing when you swirl it all together. Oh, is nothing coming off? Okay, maybe I need to reevaluate that one. Let me put this to the side. Kat Von D blush in Piaf and Poe. If that's how you pronounce that. But I've had this for a long time and I, I love it. I love this blush so much. I'm keeping it. I have this one in Peach Party by Soap and Glory. And I just, I can't. I gotta get rid of it. I didn't, I, no. No. This is in, oh, this is a bronzer, chocolates, dark chocolate soleil, keeping this, love it. And then I have this Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush, and I'm keeping that as well. Cargo Blush in Catalina, oh, this is, I love this blush. It's just like a pure pink blush, but I freaking love it. And I have an Urban Decay blush. Also, if you hear Molly, she's having fun down there. This is in Fetish. I was looking for this everywhere. Everywhere. Love it. Keeping. All right. And then we go into another one of these acrylic containers. You'll notice I still have a lot of the Becca blushes. I'm collecting those as well. So this one is in Nightingale. A dark mauve color. Keeping. This one is in Songbird. This one's a shimmery one. And then I have this one, which is Wild Honey. I love this one. This one is so pretty for spring. This one is in Blushed Copper. This one I don't know how I'm going to use because it's just like so dark. But I this is just so pretty. Like amazing. This one is in Tiger Lily, beautiful, and this one is in Snapdragon, amazing. Now, I don't usually use the shimmer blushes, but I'm going to try and use those in the summer. <clears throat> so, I guess we'll see how those go. I do have a Love Flush blush by Too Faced in Just Justify My Love. Love this blush. I want to get more of these. They're so cute. This is a Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Everyone talked about this. Didn't see the hype. Then I started using it a little bit and I was like, alright, I see it. I see the hype. But this one, if I don't use it this summer, it's going. bye bye. This one is a Baked Blush by Milani. A Baked Blush. A Butter Blush by Milani in the shade Plum Rose. I really like this for the winter. It's very light. Love it. Then I have two NARS minis, and I love both of these. This one is in Orgasm, love. This one is in Gallo, and this one looks so amazing on the skin. So amazing. These are so freaking small, though. Like, why? Can I make it, like, hand size? Not, like, finger size. This is a Tarte Blush in Park Avenue Princess. Actually, I think, is that a bronzer? I feel like that's a bronzer. Tell me down in the comments if that's a bronzer, but it's still pretty either way. Gonna keep it. Another NARS blush in Impassioned. I like this, but this is so freaking old. Oh, but it's so... I gotta keep it. This is where I do horrendous. This is in Corky. And it's a tart blush. I'm going to keep that. I did get rid of another one. That This one is actually really good. And the other one that I had, it was seriously just like hard panned. And I couldn't get any product off of it at all. But I'm keeping that one. And then I have these um, 
all um anastasia and the balm blushes i love the balm blushes this is cabana boy I like that love this for the fall and then i have frat boy which is perfect for summer it's a peachy color love that and i think there's a third one if i'm not mistaken but i don't know where that one went so then i also have the in stain blushes i just love the look of these so much i collected all of them or at least all of them this one is in pinstripe which is a nice deep plum color this is one of my favorite um in houndstooth looks like that in or in stain swiss dot which is a nice peach color and this is in argyle which is a nice pink color love all of those keeping all of those then i have anastasia trios and this one is in pool party honestly i don't like this color at all i don't know that's just oof. but i do like this one but you know what i probably don't even i probably don't even need this I don't know, I'm going to think about that one. This one is in Peachy Love. Why I I don't know why I picked ones that have shimmer. Can't even really see the shimmer, which is good because I don't like shimmery blushes or bronzers. I'm going to keep this one. I don't, have, I don't feel like I have a whole lot of peachy peach ones, so I'm going to keep that. And this one is in Cocktail Party. Oh, I'm keeping that for sure. Of course, I'm keeping that one. All right, and then the last section here, I have a Benefit Majorette blush. I have used this only one time, got it secondhand, and I'm never using it again. This is just too freaking adorable. That's why I bought it, not to use. <laughs> this is a Butter London and Honey Pie. This is a cream one, and I've had this for so long. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because it's so old. Buxom blush. Oh, I love this. I love this blush. I have another one that's like a darker shade somewhere. And I, I freaking love the Buxom blushes. I have two more in. Um, I have Obsessed and Score. Score kind of broke, but I do really love that. So I'm keeping it. And Obsessed. I really love that color Hi, as well. Hi, baby. I'm going to keep one of those. I have I Sugar Bomb my Benefit. I touch. No. I you can touch this one. Go ahead. Whoa, I love these ones. Um, I have Sugar. I what is this? this? I have Sugar Bomb by Benefit, and it's a nice peachy shade. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And then lastly, I have this one from CoverGirl True Blend. I have this one here. Yep. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to keep this have... one as well. I'm going to show them this one. All right, like, give me one minute. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff together and see where we're at. All right, so I put the blushes together. Okay, Molly, come on. I put the blushes and bronzers together. This is what we're getting rid of collectively, and I think that's pretty good for me. Um, so I have two bronzers and two four six blushes so i think that's pretty good so um yeah